Hey guys, Davison here of Davison Video, which is my main channel. This is my vlogging channel. So today I want to talk to you about a video put out by the Huffington Post in collaboration with the actress Kristen Bell called Pink Sourcing. Now it is a satirical piece that highlights the wage gap in America. I'm going to explain the wage gap just in case you are new to it for some reason. You shouldn't be new to it. In fact, everyone should know about it so we can get rid of it. So what the wage gap is, is that for every dollar men earn, white women earn 77 cents to that dollar. African-American women earn 60 cents to that dollar. And unfortunately, Hispanic women earn a mere 55 cents to that dollar. So in this video, which is a clever satirical commercial hosted by Kristen, Kristen explains to employers that if they want to save money on labor, they're better off pink sourcing and hiring women as opposed to outsourcing because women are willing to do the same jobs as men in often worse working conditions and with less benefits for less pay. Now, of course, this video has ignited fury on the internet, especially with men's rights activists who claim that the wage gap is a complete misrepresentation of statistics and that in fact it's pure fiction. Now I absolutely disagree on those points because statistics do show that women notoriously are paid less than men and offered to be paid less than men. Now my perspective on this in terms of a cure, I think part of it is the result of a sexist society that devalues women and classes them lower cases than men but I equally hold women responsible in terms of their negotiation efforts. Yes, it is totally unfair that we are frequently offered less as an initial bargaining point, but that doesn't mean that women shouldn't push back in what has been termed as lean in and give back the same push that a man would to fight for more and ask for more. We are not helpless as women. We need to fight this. Luckily, in many companies, there are pay scales that everybody follows. And I applaud that because then everyone is on an equal playing ground. But in other businesses, what you can do is ask your colleagues how much they're making. And if they are making more than you for the same position and they're male, well then you go in and you have a discussion with your boss. And even more so, even if you're not getting that information, research how much one is typically paid in your industry and ask for that amount. And if you're not getting it at one job, go and find a job where you will be making that amount of money. But I think basically this commercial raises awareness, reminds women that they need to ask for more and that they are worth more. And I think that's a positive thing. And all these other arguments about, oh, this is bullshit. This doesn't happen. Yes, it does happen. It absolutely does happen that women are starting at a lower negotiation point and a lower perceived value point and a lower dominance point, a, a position of perceived subordination than most men. And that has to stop because we are e all equal. That is what we should be striving for. And that's what feminism strives for. Not just issues surrounding women, but the equality of the sexes. And that includes pay. So my name is Davison. Please let me know what you think of pink sourcing. And uh, you can find me on my main channel at Davison Video, spell it out two words. And I'm at Davison Video everywhere on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, oh, and Snapchat as well. Luckily on YouTube, we all make the same AdSense dollars, which is pathetically low for the amount of views that we get. But I would like to say there is one instance, unfortunately, where women are not on equal footing to men, which is the trending video section, because it's largely as a result from views on Reddit. So if you go to the trending tab on YouTube, surprise, surprise, 90% or more of the videos are videos by men featuring men. Yes, I'm not making this up. So I actually today wrote an email to YouTube saying, hey, you have to have a trending section for women because women aren't showing up on your trending videos as often as men. And that's 
unfortunate. And it's just the mechanics of the current social web that's causing that. And at minimum, if you can't do that, basically break down the trending tab into categories so women stand a chance of rising in categories as well, not just globally over YouTube. So I stood up, I said something, I leaned in, I asked for, for more. And women like me, when we ask for more, we generally get more as long as we keep fighting for it. And eventually it'll be less difficult for other women because we paved the way for their lives to be more equal, which is why we are feminists. Thanks guys. Lala Davison video.